everybody, Paul Diebold, Irvington Historical Society. We are here at the um, southeast corner of Washington Street and Audubon Road in historic Irvington in Indianapolis, Indiana. And we're going to talk a little bit about the building that's just over my shoulder, the uh, strip of shops, uh, people call them various things, the Washington Audubon strip of shops. Uh, uh, some people call them by the various restaurants and businesses that are there now. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about that building, but we'll start out by setting the tone here. So on Washington Street, of course, Washington Street is a main street today, and it's a busy commercial street. Um, but in early uh, years of Irvington, uh, it was a residential street. So we're going to pan around here and show you the library behind us at 5625 East Washington Street. And uh, you can see uh, some of the residential things. There's the Ottoman Court Apartments, 1913. And here's the library, which of course is only from 2001. And, uh, but that lot on which the library stands was residential uh, on even into the 20s. Um, so, the reason for that is that there, there really wasn't uh, a lot of transportation happening. It was all local transportation on Washington Street until the trolley line came here. The trolley line moved up here in the 1890s. Getting a little closer. And then it was electrified a few years after that. So the trolleys were electric powered and much more reliable and quicker to get downtown. So that transformed Washington Street into a commercial corridor. It opened up all the possibilities. So, um, and of course, this corner thrived because it was a trolley stop. Um, the trolley turned around just past the library at Julian Avenue in Audubon um, by that time, by the 1920s, and then it headed back downtown. And then a little bit later in the 20s, the, the trolley stop moved further down to Sheridan, and that spawned a uh, commercial corner at, at that intersection of Sheridan and Washington Street. That so um, over my shoulder here, though, is the, the strip that was built in 1927, and Art Fleck was the architect of the strip of shops. Um, and so th this was a big move for Irvington merchants to have that much um, commercial um, activity on Washington Street, filling the whole block really between Lehman and Audubon Road. So let's, let's take a look here and think. In 1929, if you stepped off the trolley at the corner of Washington and Audubon, where there's a bus stop today, what, what kind of things could you have done on your way home? If you're walking home a block away to your apartment or house, in Irvington. So starting from the end down here where the Legend Restaurant is, very popular, wonderful restaurant in, in, in Irvington. Can't really see it because the we tree is blocking it. There was a furniture store there. Now some of these others, it's harder to tell because there were smaller commercial spaces in the 1920s. And over the years, those spaces have been conglomerated so that, for example, Legend Restaurant takes up several commercial spots, what would have been probably two uh, spots. Next to the east from where Legend is, um, there would have been a candy store. Then there would have been a dry cleaners. Then there would have been a, a small jewelry store, a small real estate office. So we're moving east here. You're going to need to pause in just a second for a big truck. Yeah, if, as the trucks come here, we're going to pause. There's a dry goods store after the real estate shop. Okay. okay. We're going to wait for a moment. <laughs> okay. We'll pick it back up there. The real estate shop, there was a dry goods store. So that would be things like clothing and, and uh, raw materials to, to make clothing from. Housewares, things like that. Um, a small gift shop. A bakery. Again, we're moving east. Uh, we're probably to about maybe where Blackacre is now. If you're familiar with that business. Um, there was a Kroger store in there. This would have been a very small Kroger, not like a modern grocery store. A beauty salon, a small tailor shop. Uh, one of the 
storefronts was still vacant because the building had just been built uh, only maybe a year and a half before that. Um, so we're talking 1929. Then um, where basically where Giacomo's is, interestingly, there was a restaurant in 1929. And, and uh, at, at the very end there, probably about where Giacomo's uh, pizza place is now, an A&P grocery. That was a big chain here in Indianapolis. Uh, from the 1920s on into uh, the post-war years, A&P Grocery. Uh, next, at the very corner, there was a drugstore. There was a Morgan Pharmacy drugstore uh, at the very corner where Lincoln Square Pancake House is. And uh, uh, my understanding is in the 1920s, at some point, maybe 1930s, Dillinger robbed that store uh, and headed off on the National Road. Of course, Washington Street was the main highway. There was no I-70. Washington Street was the I-70 of its time and we were at the fringe of town. Um, so a lot of these stores, uh, as well as catering to uh, the neighborhood, they catered to people passing through and heading on their way uh, out of town. So the National Road cuts right down the middle. Historic National Road. Yeah, the Historic National Road was Washington Street, basically. And, and uh, also you had the interurban route on Washington Street, which I'm sure had at least one stop in Irvington before it headed on to Greenfield and points even further east, Richmond, Indiana, and so forth. So that's our show for today. Um, stay safe, everybody out there. Um, it's feeling like fall out here uh, for sure. We are getting very close. Um, here's our uh, website where you can support us. We're getting very close to adding up all these stories I've been telling you over the last few months into a new edition of the Greater Irvington book. And we're gonna be very excited to come out with that um, by the holiday season here. So uh, watch for that. I believe you can even already order that uh, book in advance. So if you love these stories and you like to hear them again, great way to do that is to, to buy the new book. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.